Hello everyone, this is Russell aka The Tuba Geek and I thought I would give an assessment of how my first week's worth of workouts with DDP Yoga have gone. Um, Monday, I start out with the Diamond Dozen thinking, get myself familiar with the moves. But I didn't get much of a workout so I jumped in and did energy later on that day. Uh, that's when I discovered what this was going to be like. Um, the jumps from move to move are very quick. Uh, you really get, you really get pushed. Um, the, the most fortunate things about the whole uh, system is that one, you can take breaks as you need to by going into safety zone or taking a water break. Um, and you can modify the positions as you need to. Um, I was doing this quite a bit. I have been doing this quite a bit through the first week. Um, warrior push-ups, most times I'm either going to my knees from the plank position or I'm just holding my position just to try to build up strength in my shoulders. Um, Tuesday I heard that there was a challenge being issued and that you had to complete five of seven days doing one of three sets of workouts. I chose to do energy and the fat burner. The first day, it kicked my butt. <laughs> uh, my, my heart rate was getting so high that I was having to pause the record, pause the, pause it for up to 30 to 45 seconds at a time and go into safety zone just to get my heart rate back down into the safe fat burning zone. Um, which is interesting when I have now gone, I've now done my, today I did my fourth out of fifth, fourth of my fifth uh, set of energy in the fat burner and I've actually started moving out of some of the modifications. Um, some of the lunge positions, I've actually brought myself into, instead of being on my knees, I've been in a lunge position, um, though my legs are pretty far in, but that's where you have to start. Um, also, started doing, uh, just, I tried it after the second day in, the lunging diamond cutter uh, moves in the fat burner, in the fat burner video, I went and did those all the way through. Now I'm still going to a, still not going into a full lunge position on that, but I am getting my, I am raising up and I'm getting my knee up and everything else. Uh, I'm actually feeling really good. Um, I've felt like I've had actually quite a bit of energy, um, even at the end of the day. Um, usually, end of the day, I am completely worn out, and I'm just ready to crash. And even the next morning, I'm still feeling tired. But I'm actually coming out of it feeling, I come out of the workouts feeling good. Uh, the next day, generally speaking, I'm also feeling good. So I'm looking forward to where things go from here. Um, I did my weigh in late. You can see that video uh, back a little. Uh, it's my most recent video for this one where I did my weigh in. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing where I am in 30 days. Um, diet wise, I, th I actually got a phone call from Diamond Dallas Page. Uh, but I actually got a chance to have a nice long conversation with him um, about 30 minutes talking with him uh, between me and him and my, and my wife Erin and he really stressed going for gluten free and dairy free um, I have actually been trying to do it um, I've been doing some replacements here and there today was a uh, complete blow off day um, if you remember back when Rosie O'Donnell had her talk show, she actually had a diet program she was doing where she said, one day a week you're able to eat whatever you want. Just go nuts. 
Well, today was kind of that day for me because it was my son's birthday party, and we had a Mardi Gras theme, and <laughs> he used to say, um, they don't call it Fat Tuesday for nothing. Uh, so, I'll be jumping back on the, uh, jumping back on the wagon, doing some, doing some more modifications, uh, and seeing where it goes from there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be going fully gluten-free and dairy-free, um, at this point. Um, time will tell. Uh, but at this point I'm just I'm actually anxiously awaiting um, should be around March somewhere between March 13th and March 15th I'll have to actually do the do the count on my calendar and make sure but sometime around there I'll be doing my uh, 30 day weigh in and measurements um, recording them all for posterity um, because I want to see the progress. Um, like I said, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing where things go from here. Uh, I haven't actually mentioned this here on YouTube, but my goal is to ultimately make it back down to close to, as close to my high school way as I can get. Uh, last I recall, or as best I recall, can recall, I weighed about 180 pounds when I was in high school at my upper end. Um, though I would be happy if I was somewhere between 180 and 200 and was in very good physical shape. Um, I think the way I put it at one point was I would be, I'll take 180, or 180 is my goal, but I'll be happy with a buff 200. Um, for those of you who may be in the same boat I am, maybe watching this and wondering where to go next or what you should do, uh, I would highly encourage you uh, to check out DDP Yoga. Go ddpyoga.com, watch the video for Arthur. Um, I think it's labeled uh, Most Miraculous Transformation. Uh, or most mirac miraculous fitness transformation or something to that effect. But watch that and see where he's gone. He's actually in the energy video and I'm just in awe of watching what he's able to do now um, and still doing. Uh, apparently he's now a yoga trainer and is, D is certified in DDP yoga so he can do courses in it as well. I hope that I will I can serve as an inspiration to someone out there. Um, I'm not <laughs> exactly the most charismatic person on the face of the planet when it comes to things like this, but I wouldn't be posting videos like this if I didn't believe in what this was able to do. And I completely believe this possible for me to get better using this system. So until next time everyone, I encourage you to own your life and feel the bang.